your sixth national championship game in, in seven years. Uh, tell me what the thoughts of the team right now going into that uh, that final game here tonight. Oh, I think our kids are excited. And, you know, we've talked about for weeks this being a business trip, and, and our kids have done a tremendous job of approaching it like a business trip. And, and you know, they got their, their final test tonight. And, um, you know, I think we're focused, ready to go. You've, uh, you've, you've got only one sophomore that played uh, in the national championship game last year in, in uh, Emily Cox. Tell me what the leadership that she's presented for you going into that final game. Um, you know, you, can, you could see that last night. Emily really stepped up huge for us, and, and um, she's been there. She, she, um, she's a winner. I mean, obviously, she already has two national championship rings with softball and us. Um, you know, she's looking for that third and fourth now, and, and uh, she's going to leave it all out there today, no doubt. Uh, a team filled with freshmen, obviously in the first round, you, you, you survived a pretty tough uh, eighth seed opponent. Uh, but I think there was some acclimation for those, those freshmen getting into the, the national scene. How do you think they developed over the, the two game stretch and now moving into that third and final game tonight? Well, I'm hoping that we've got all our nerves out of the way. You know, um, I thought our starters played pretty well the first day. I thought our bench was huge yesterday. And so I'm hoping today we can we can put a complete game together and really showcase um, you know the talent that we have and in how we've been able to play down the stretch within our region. For you as a coach, uh, having a, a history of understanding of what it takes to uh, to, to develop your team and to uh, prepare your team for that national championship, what uh, what what is the biggest thing that you've learned in in the now going to be your sixth time that uh, leading into the night's game that will be maybe just a message for your team tonight. Um, you know, it's, it's about doing the same things we've been doing, um, whether that's our routine at the hotel, you know, making our kids wake up early, um, meeting together and having breakfast together, coming here to our shoot around times. Um, I think all that's important and critical. And even this afternoon, you know, we're not going to let them sleep all afternoon, even though we have four or five hours, we're going to get out, we're going to go do something, whether let's watch a movie or whatever. Um, you know, and I think that routine, um, you know, I always, I always go with the adage, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And it's worked fairly well anyway in the last uh, last seven years. National championship on your home court. Uh, Rockford's came out and they've definitely supported you in round one and round two. What did, what's it mean to you as, as the head coach, the athletic director here at Rock Valley College that uh, to see kind of the uh, the fruits of your labor uh, more or less uh, come out and support you the way they've done in games one and two? You know it's been unbelievable Rockford you know I want to thank everybody uh, that's been out for responding and, and getting in the gym and hopefully tonight we have even our biggest crowd ever and uh, it's been huge. It's certainly, uh, you know, I, as you mentioned, we've been to six national championships and I've never seen uh, a crowd like this at, at any of the venues, you know, even the home, home teams that we're playing uh, in the games. And so uh, it's been huge and, and our kids feed off that energy and, and um, you know, it, it, it's kind of the pinnacle, if you will, you know, to be able to, to be in the national championship game on your home court. And, uh, you know, hopefully at the end of the night, we're the ones cutting down those nets. Coach, best of luck to you in the national championship. Thank you.